I thought there was some craziness about these prices because Alaves are decent at home. Um, I think they were on the back of three straight wins. Plus 265 Alaves. Girona plus 100 going from strength to strength. Dovbic, how can he dare be in the... Uh, uh, still at Girona next year, even if it is Champions League football. We will see him also in the Euro Champs with Ukraine. But Alaves to score twice. He's plus 200. Girona have not stopped anyone scoring goals all season. And yet Girona are minus 105 to score twice. How about we just do them both? Uh, plus 260 on the draw. I think Girona win. I think both teams will be scoring. So then the over two and a half is at minus 112. Klaus, Girona could score three on their own. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna. Be, I'm very surprised with this Alavis team that you know every single year they're fighting relegation, and so far they're 11th. And if they win, they can move to 10th, depending on what happens yeah. between between Hetafe. So, it's it's been an interesting season. Like you said, there are three wins back to back, and I think that's also something to take into consideration. Especially we're talking about teams like Valencia, which again, it was unfortunate what happened, but it is what it is. Celta, which is all right, but then you have Atletico Madrid, which is one of the top five, top six teams every year. So. The last three wins, the back-to-back wins they've had, it have been against decent teams, at least. Uh, I, I see a lot of goals happening here. Girona, listen, we're 12 points away from pretty much clearing the season. And they're pretty much, what, three and four? They're seven away from Atletico. So I feel like if they manage to get these three points and they move to 77, it's going to be virtually impossible for them to lose this Champions League spot. So I think this might be one of the key games. Um, I'm so glad they got that win. Listen, Girona has been up and down all season. There's a lot of talks. I want to see something. Girona's very close to signing Luciano Rodriguez, which is the under-20 world champion. He's a Uruguayan player. Uh, he was very close to signing with Ajax. Even Manchester City wanted him at one point. It didn't happen. It looks like he's going to go to Girona. Obviously, Girona is going to have to start bringing some players. They're going to play Champions League next season. They're going to go into a big boys competition. So, uh, listen, they should get the three points. They got to They got to start getting ready for Europe. Uh, with what they have and then planning the future for what they can possibly bring in to hopefully have a decent Champions League and now walk into it and get completely smashed. I'm going with Girona winning and at least two to three goals being scored here. Yeah, I, I suppose that's probably the uh, most common way. I mean, you're not going to expect uh, Alaves not to score because Girona just give up their chances. They, I, think they, I think they invite that type of game where it's wide open and the only way Girona are going to get beat is when someone just says look you're not breaking us down and we know you're going to give us a chance at, uh, sooner or later but Girona at plus 100 is that is that number just straight away Oaks big enough let's not complicate it yeah that's what I'm going to do here I do like the team total over one and a half uh, at minus 105 I think that's playable too I don't see Alves scoring too look I know they put a together a nice little run of form here and like klaus said it appears they played some tougher competition um now look i'm not gonna say that atleti's not tough competition but they're not the same competition outside the wanda and we talked about this game um i distinctly remember because this is a bass derby and i wasn't surprised that little brother at home got up to punk big bro uh uh Sorry, that's not Bass Derby. My bad. That's at Letty Madrid, not Bilbao. Uh, but anyway, whatever. They beat uh, at Letty at home. We know that team is not the same outside the Wanda. They beat Celta at home. I'm not going to sit here and say I super rate Celta Vigo. And they beat a Valencia team who was on their third string keeper that uh, because their second string keeper got hurt after the first string guy was suspended on a straight red card. Uh, and the third string guy that was his first um la, uh, la liga cap for valencia um not on the b team so uh, look I, I thought valencia should have showed more courage and and helped out their keeper and attacked the ball and kept it away from their final third but they weren't able to do that girona is very good on the attack um i got my savio to score assist over the weekend Savio's red hot. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Girona smells blood in the water here. Um, and, and they're going to try and lock up this second place. Now, they are coming off a really bad stint of road losses. They got right versus Las Palmas. But again, I told you guys that was going to be the toughest, most gritty, grinded out part of Girona's schedule. They lost five in a row away on the road, but their road losses include... Real Madrid, who nobody's beating in the Bernabeu, uh, Atleti Bilbao, so we know Bilbao yeah. and how tough they are at home in the Basque Country, Mallorca on the island, 
Mallorca on the island is tough as nails. I think they've only lost three games on the island all season. And then Getafe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and then they had to go the Wanda. So uh, I'm just going to play Girona on the money line here. I think they lock up second place. Um, and I think they're riding high and they want to end the season on a positive note because the last thing you want to do is turn into um, – who is it? Union Berlin. Uh, you go to yeah. Champions League and then you're facing relegation next season. So yeah. you got to do something to leave a good taste in your mouth. Um, and, and I wouldn't put it past City Group uh, to kind of rob the coffers here of uh, Girona and, and and not make next season very enjoyable for them. Did I not read somewhere that Pep Guardiola owns some of Girona? Oh. Yeah, I also saw City Group's... Uh, got to Louise looking at their third relegation in a row uh, and I, they're washing cash through their I, French signings. 43% of uh, Girona is owned by Pep Guardiola, I do believe. Uh, that's the only thing I read. It could have been fictitious. Appreciate but you I'm... telling me that because starting today, I will not support him any longer. So thank you for that, David. Appreciate <laughs> that. No worries. No worries. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you always you listen. You listen, Clash. You know you rely on me to brighten up every day of your life. You know that. <laughs> let's move. Let's have a little look at the official picks now. Girona and over one and a half at plus one forty. Nice price because Girona don't win one nil. They uh, they always score at least a couple, and they are minus one hundred five to this score is, over this one is, and a half as well. This is over. This is over. That means that it, it also counts Alavés. Just it's not team. It's not team total. It's not. Right. No, it doesn't yeah. say team total, though, does it? Okay, uh, well, you said it. Uh, only <laughs> score once. What if, what if we have a two one? What if you have a. I won one. No, I said, I said, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I said, Girona and over one and a half because Girona don't score, ever score one. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. I got you, you know, you. know what I mean? Be, it's not my first rodeo, there. this, you know? Uh, <laughs> Girona, <laughs> money line, plus 100. But thanks for trying to school me, all right? <laughs> I'll just keep reminding you about Pep owning uh, Girona. Uh, 